Okay, guys, I've gone ahead to Icon Finder here, and I just typed for uh, um, an icon, and I found this social cycle icon that I'm going to use it. So I've just downloaded it, and the next thing we're going to do, or Android Asset Studio, yeah, and then it's Asset Studios. So I'll go to this link. I'll provide this link in the description so that we can go ahead and check it out. And then we click on the launcher icon, and then the image, and then now the downloads, which is this image, upload it, and here it looks good. Okay, crop or not crop? I center it and then just download it. And then here you'll have IC launcher 1.zip. When you click it, you'll have a res folder, and in this res folder, it has IC launcher icon. So that's our launcher. So we're going to copy all these files and paste it into our res resources folder. And okay. And then our IC launcher should be different. So if I run it, Studio takes a while to okay finally and as you can see our icon is still not the one we're looking for and to do that to change that to become going to come to uh, the manifest and inside here, we're going to say a durable, the icon is now IC launcher. And we should have it. Sorry, I didn't do that. So after we do, you put the durables, you need to change it in the manifest so that uh, in here in the icon. Okay, so that we are going to have it. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and check how the app is going to look like now. And as you can see, we have that new icon right here, live update, where you can just update people about what is going on. Oh, uh, this button here, let me just go ahead and change this background button here. Okay. Um, that is inside of uh, activity update status.xml. And then this button, we say background. We say color, actually, it's drawable button. Is it? Oh, I haven't created drawables for these buttons yet. So in that case, I'll just write color, theme color. Something close to that, yep. And there we have it, so I'm gonna just run it. And there you have it. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, you've learned quite a lot. Um, let me change the color of this. But I'll give this as a homework for you guys. Change the color there to maybe the background to the same as the theme color. Okay, so. We've learned how to use Parse as a cloud server and fetch data from Parse. And we've learned how list views work and a lot of many stuff. So with that in mind, keep practicing. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, it's been great. It's been fun. I'll be updating these videos in, uh, with users' experiences. And I will be emailing uh, you any updates regarding the, new, the course. Uh, and whatever I have to add or any new stuff that I'm, I think uh, students might uh, use it uh, in the Android projects. So thanks again, guys. And this is Ronnie. And I'll see you again.